Mr. and Mrs. Taylor had one child. He was a boy. He was seven years old, and his name was Pat. Now Mrs. Taylor was expecting another child. Pat had seen babies in other people's houses and hadn't liked them very much, so he was not delighted about the news that there was soon going to be one in his house too. One evening, Mr. and Mrs. Taylor were making plans for the baby's arrival. This house won't be big enough for us all when the baby comes. I suppose we'll have to find a larger house and move to that, said Mr. Taylor finally. Pat had been playing outside, but he came into the room just then and said, What are you talking about? We were saying that we'll have to move to another house now because the new baby's coming, his mother answered. It's no use, said Pat hopelessly. He'll follow us there. Exercise A. Which of these sentences are true and which are false? Write T or F in the boxes. Number one. Mr. and Mrs. Taylor had a son. Number two. Pat was five years old. Number three. Mrs. Taylor was going to have another baby. Number four. Pat did not like babies. Number five. Pat was not happy about the new baby. Number six. Mr. and Mrs. Taylor lived in a large house. Exercise B. Now answer these questions. Number one. Did Pat have any brothers or sisters at the beginning of this story? Number two. Why was he not happy to hear that his mother was expecting a baby? Number three. What did his father say one evening about the baby's arrival? Number four. Where was Pat when his father said this? Number five. What did he do? Number six. What did he ask? Number seven. What did his mother answer? Number eight. What did Pat answer? <laughs>